Hi guys, you're welcome to my channel on CD Made Easy. Today we'll be looking at another aspect of drawing, which is oblique projection. Oblique projection is a method of pictorial drawing, just like your isometric drawing. But in this case, the object is drawn, the receding line is drawn at an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal while the other face is viewed at right angles to the horizontal plane. So I'm going to show you there are two types of oblique drawing. We have the cavalier oblique and we have the cabinet oblique. When you are drawing the cavalier oblique, you draw the full width and the full height of the block. And you also draw the full length of the block. But for cabinet oblique, you draw the full width using the full height also, but you reduce the, the, the length of the block into half of the measurement. Whatever measurement is given to you is reduced to half. So we have cavalier and cabinet oblique. So today we are going to see how to draw a given block in oblique projection. So the first thing, when you look at this block, the given height is 20. So this is 20, this is 20, this is also 20. And we have the width to be 30. Then we have the length to be what? 50. So I'm going to start by drawing a thin line. You start by drawing a thin line Pick a point on the line. The point is going to be my starting point. Then you bring out your protractor, center at the chosen point. You count an angle of 45 degrees, what, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. Then you put a dot at 45 degrees. After that, you remove your protractor. Connect the points together. Connect the chosen points to the 45 degree lines together. Bring out your protractor to draw an angle of 90 degrees at the chosen point. An angle of 90 degrees. Remember we said one face is at right angles which is 90 degrees so bring out this height now we go back to the given drawing let's say the given block let's follow the measurements so now when you look towards the horizontal plane you will see 30 millimeters so we come here and measure 30 millimeters which is equivalent to three centimeters. I'll mark the points with the dots. Remember you have to draw using thin line. When you are done drawing, you can now outline your work. Okay, so I'll remove my ruler, bring out my set square, place it at that point, at three CM points, and project a vertical line in order to bring out the face. Now I have my vertical line. From here, I can equally measure the height. The given height is two centimeters. So I'll come here, mark out two centimeters on my ruler. This is two centimeters. I'll mark it out, take it to the other side. Also mark out two centimeters.
and I'll remove my ruler. Like I told you in my first video on isometric drawing, I said when you have two equal lengths, you join them together with a straight line. So I'll join these two points together because they are equal. Then the next thing I'll go again, I'll check. I've been able to draw this vertical line one. I've drawn vertical line two. Then this is vertical line three. I will also use my set square. Okay, before I draw the vertical line, I must first get, I must bring out the given length, which is 50 millimeters. So I'll use my ruler to measure 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters is equivalent to five centimeters. I've gotten my five centimeters. I'll put a dot at five centimeters. Remove your ruler. Then you can use the set square. Place the set square at 0.5 centimeters. Let the set square touch the horizontal line. This horizontal line is your reference line, which is also known as the starting line. So now place your set square, let it touch the horizontal line and let it touch the five centimeter point. From there, you draw a line upward. Then on this line, I can now measure the third line, the third point, which is two centimeters. Bring out your pencil and mark out two centimeters. Now you can remove your set square. Okay, now because this is two centimeters and this is also two centimeters, they are equal. So I can join them together with a straight line. Okay, so the next thing, I'll go back to the drawing I want to mark out the lines that I've drawn. I've been able to draw the vertical line one, vertical line two, vertical line three, inclined line one, inclined line two. So I am left with the last face. So to draw this, you bring out your set square again now it's just to copy this line and paste it at this point and to copy this line paste it at this point so what i need to do is to place the slant side of my set square on the line that i want to copy Please let it touch the slant side. Once it touches, you bring out your ruler. Place it at the base of the set square. So now we want to copy this line and paste it here. Hold your ruler firm to your paper. Then you move the set square from this point, you move it gradually to the
the next point. You're moving only the set square. Let me take it again. So I'll move my set square from this point. I'll move it gradually to the next point. But my ruler will be held firm to the paper. So now I've gotten to my destination. All I need to do at this point is to draw the receding line. Then I'll measure 50 on the line, which is five centimeters. Okay, this is my five centimeters. I'll mark it out. Then I'll remove my ruler so the last thing since i have five centimeter and five centimeter i'll join the two lines together with a straight line the two points together with a straight line so i'm done with my oblique drawing all i need to do now is to outline the drawing use your thick line to bring out the shape other lines will be construction line. If you like, you can erase the construction line. But if it's very thin, you can leave it on the drawing. Now we have come to the end of oblique drawing. So you write the title at the base of the drawing, oblique drawing. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you.